what is the silver bullet that gets people in organizations to see that you don't lose control to a 3P seller? How do you get your teams to see this as a good solution when they resist out of concerns for their own existence? And I think that's a common question. It's a great, very great worded question there as well. Whitney, what would you say? I mean, you, you probably talk to a lot of brands that are going through some version of transitioning to hybrid or to a 3P or to their own 3P or to an authorized network. Like, there, there probably is some level of, um, you know, I'm going to lose control if I do this. What, what do you say to them? That how do you, I'm sure there's no silver bullet, but how do you help them through that process? You probably feel like a therapist at some point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, maybe this question is zeroing in. I mean, like, let's say someone's running the Amazon account and they're having a deep relationship with Amazon 1P and do they feel like if they go to a 3P that they're going to be, you know, they're not going to have the same value as, as they did. I mean, I, at least from, I mean, we have a, a woman on our team now, Robin Gable, who was head of e-commerce and she was working with Amazon and then then decided to go and work directly with a 3P. And I mean, so, you know, the brand, you could talk to her and ask her, but basically I think what, what happens a lot is that person then gets to sort of be a part of your team working with, you know, all the expertise and use the data insights and use, you know, all the strategies. And really they think about their products and the you know, strategies around promotion and you become this kind of cohesive team that's working together to build your brand. I mean, it's no different than, I mean, I heard somebody the other day at P&G was saying, look, we got, we get really good control. We go in and then where we're really growing is we're forming very close partnerships with our retailers and using the data that they're collecting, what they're learning and using what we know about our products. And so we're leveraging each other's, you know, expertise to grow these brands together and I mean I hear people talk about that I mean so I think it's the same thing you guys are have all these data scientists you're collecting all this data you have all this technology this advertising these you know ability to take you know the high value content well then they bring all the expertise around their brands and what they're seeing and then you, you, you're kind of leveraging each other's expertise to grow it together so I don't think it's a you know a zero sum game I think it's more of a you know, they still adding their expertise and then bolting on the expertise of 3P Seller. And now you just have a much more powerful, you know, growth, growth engine going on. I mean, I mean, Adam, you're, you've sat in that seat. I mean, John, you sat in that seat. I mean, maybe you could explain kind of what, what it feels like when you're a brand in that situation. Yeah, I can, I can add some comments here. Um, I think that, you know, a 3P Seller you know, in, in, the, um, in the model that Pattern uses, they become an extension, they become a, a, a specialized player as an extension of your own brand and your own business. Um, yes, they're a third party, but they act and operate as an extension of your own business aligned with your same core values and beliefs and priorities and objectives. Um, in a way that's much more deeply embedded with your brand than, you know, than the alternative, which would be a one P at least in the case of our business, you know, I can't speak for everybody's, you know, brand, but at least for ours, um, when for us, how we define control, we define control as distribution control, map policy control, content control. And those three pillars for us, uh, you know, it, 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 we rely very, very heavily on a specialized partner um, like Pattern to help us achieve control in this way um, as an extension of ourselves, you know, because we're not good in these things. We don't specialize in e-commerce. We don't specialize in content or SEO or advertising or the Amazon marketplace. You need a partner that can be an extension of your own business. And, and for us, that's the silver bullet. Um, yeah. without that, it, that, that just doesn't exist.